Good afternoon. NIU Art Museum Assistant Director Pete Olson is here with you in another installment of the Art From Home video series in which I share with you artwork from my uh, private collection here in my house um, because the museum remains closed to the public due to the coronavirus. But in the meantime, I'm going to share with you uh, little stories about the artwork that I have, including this one right behind me, this gorgeous rooster. Uh, this is an artist that uh, I used to know, but have since sort of lost touch with. Uh, Barry Wilson attended art school uh, at Miami University of Ohio, same as me, but he was a couple of years ahead of me. So we sort of passed in the hall as uh, he was going out I was coming in. In the time that we knew each other, we traded for several prints, including this rooster uh, behind me. And I'll show you a close up of it in a moment. The inspiration for Barry's most extensive series, from which I have three linoleum block prints, was to be found at county fairs in the Midwest, where proud roosters dream of blue ribbons. A tour de force of cutting and printing takes over in this dramatic yet subtly colored lino cut. Within this still image of a muscular bird is a suggestion of an energy, which we don't necessarily see right now, but which we know is there. I am encouraged to interpret the image this way by the distant thunderhead clouds in a midwestern summer sky, swollen with pent up energy. Each rooster is shown in profile and placed in a minimal landscape to make the rooster seem monumental, like a giant. One look at the skies above each rooster reveals the clear influence of visionary artist Vincent van Gogh. The lighting on this detail shows the layers of ink built up on the surface. In early layers, the oils on the ink are absorbed by the paper and the ink has a matte finish. These layers effectively seal the paper, and the ink in subsequent layers does not get absorbed, resulting in a shiny appearance in certain light. Barry uses this effect to mimic the iridescence of bird feathers. This might be my favorite of Barry's rooster prints. Nighttime is evoked with darkened muted colors and a fabulous full moon. The moon's craters were created not by carving into the surface of the block with knives and gouges like the rest of the print, but by burning into the linoleum with a corrosive liquid. I think in this case it was lye. Small pools of moonlight on the ground remind me of mercury. As a boy, I remember seeing moonlight reflected on water and thinking of mercury. I'm sure that memory informs my response to the qualities of this print. Relief prints such as woodcuts and lino cuts possess an inherent drama, charm, and beauty unparalleled by any other visual language of art making. Thank you for listening. I will be making more little videos with my phone as I continue to shelter in place.